In this Photoshop demo, I'm gonna show you a really cool way to edit specific colors in your photography. And we're gonna go from a simple process and then get more complex and more complex. So part of this homework file is to do all three photos. So I'm gonna go to File and Open. Here in my Chapter 8 folder is 8.2, and I'm gonna start at the bottom. I'm gonna click and drag over all three, and we'll open them up. So photo number one, we just need to recolor her bathing suit, pretty simple. Photo number two, I wanna repaint all the red flame areas and the banners to a different color. So it gets a little more complex with the shapes. And then file number three is we're gonna repaint this whole car, okay? So let's go back to file number one. What I would recommend is if you are ever going to do a major change to a photo, don't do it on your original layer. The first thing I would do when I open up a photo is Command J on a Mac or Control J on a PC to make a copy jump to another layer. Consider this kind of an experimental layer. So if you ever mess it up, you go right back to the beginning and try again. But I always do it on a copy. Command J or Control J on your PC. Do it on a copy. So now, without even touching anything, I go to Image Menu, Adjustments, and all the way down to replace the color. I don't like the color of the bathing suit. I want to replace it with a different color. Right here on your Replace Color window, you have three eyedroppers. The first one is automatically selected. You have a fuzziness, which is the range of values. The default is 40. And you have some adjustments down here that we're going to do at the end. So first, this eyedropper is currently selected. So you click on a shade of purple. Now that might not be all the purples. So you click on the eyedropper with the plus. You want to add additional values. So now I click and drag over all the purple areas here. Click and drag, click and drag. I can see those areas lighting up. This shows me an average from the lightest purple to the darkest purple. And the hue is the color. So I'm going to drag the hue to the left. And I wait a second and see how it updates. If I like that color, great. If I don't, I can pull it to the right. And we'll put her in more of a reddish tone right there. But you have the power to change that. I'll put her in a green. Kind of right there. And I just want to make sure if I missed anything... I can hit Command and Plus on my Mac. That would be Control and Plus on your PC to zoom in. You can hold your space bar for the hand tool and pull this around. Now you will get just a slight, slight, slight variation there. But I can see a little bit of purple right here. So I'll click and drag on that. There we go. And that got that real bright. So it helps to zoom in just to see if you missed any colors. Um, I can see a little bit of purple right here. So I'm going to put the tip of this eyedropper like right on that edge and click. I don't want to click on her skin tone. I'm trying to get just along the edge of this purple. See if I go too far. Now she's going to look terrible. So I can hit Command Z on my Mac or Control Z on a PC. I'll hit Command Z again. I went a little too far and it won't go back any further. So this is kind of unforgiving. You got to click cancel and start again, unfortunately. So just be careful with it. If it helps, zoom in on the part you want to change before you do the change. Now I can go to image menu, adjustments, replace color. I'll click on purple. Now I click on the plus, and here's another way to do it. I'll click and drag right there, and then I'll change the hue. And let's see how much purple I really got. So you can see how much I missed. So now I just click and drag over the missed parts. 
and it'll just keep adding to my color changes. So I'll click and drag right there, got all the highlights, and that's gonna work for me. I like that. I get just a hint, hint of that color because it's reflected on her skin, but I'm gonna go with that. This is good enough for me. I click OK. I zoom out because people are going to look at the entire image like that. Now, all I'm looking for is for you to change the outfit. Just know you have this feature. It would be quite another issue if I really wanted to be specific. Like if I was doing this for a magazine, I would zoom in and touch up all the purple on her arm because that's reflecting the original purple from the bathing suit right there. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. That's really more advanced retouching that we don't have time for yet. So as long as you colorize a bathing suit, I know you know this process and that's cool enough for me, okay? That would be totally a different subject that I would probably discuss in an advanced Photoshop class. But for now, know how to recolor. I'm not gonna save that yet. I'll just save them all when I'm done. So I'll go to the next one, the bike. Command J to duplicate. That's Control J on a PC. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Image menu, adjustments, replace color. I'll move this out of the way and I'll click on red. Then I'm gonna take the eyedropper with a plus. So I'm gonna click and drag on some of these darker reds, some of these lighter pinks right here and I'll drag this to the left. We'll recolor the bike kind of blue. I can see some reds I missed, so I click and drag on those. I click and drag down in here, get some of those reds, which are also reflected in the chrome, so that's great. And get a little hint of red up in there, so I'll click. See if I can get that red right in there, there we go. And now I've totally repainted the bike in a matter of just a couple seconds. Get a little bit of that red along the highlight. So I'm going to click right there. Get some of those highlights in there. Cool. Now I have all that reflected color in here. So when I click OK, I turn off the top layer. There's before and there's after. But notice the pipes. The pipes were reflecting the brown dirt. Now all of a sudden the brown dirt has turned purple. That's ridiculous. This tube should be yellow, but now it's turned kind of a bluish purple. I didn't want to do that. So this is the secret. You always duplicate your layers. Look at all the dirt that I'm getting reflected right here, but now it's turning blue. So on your copy, you create a layer mask. Every time you create a layer mask, it is D for default colors, X to switch to black, so you can erase. So with a brush, I'm gonna come in and hold my Control and Option key on my Mac. That would be Control and Alt key and your right mouse button on a PC, and I'll make my brush small. I'm also gonna make it soft by dragging up. I wanna blend these two photos together. So now when I scrape away this area, I'm gonna reveal the original reflected dirt right there. What I'm doing is erasing a hole in the top photo to reveal the original colors that were there when I started. So I'm gonna erase this little pipe right here and put that color back in. I can turn that off for a second. There was a lot of dirt reflected down there. See, even the grass and dirt turned purple. So I'll erase right there by painting with black on my layer mask. I'll erase all this chrome that is reflecting the dirt below. And let's see, what else do I have? I have chrome right here. So we don't want that to go away. Okay, that's all chrome down below, so we don't want that to go away. We don't want this dirt to turn purple, so we'll scrape all that top layer off. And there we go. Now I've only really changed the color of the bike. If you see any other areas, 
scrape those out as well. So little reflections here and there. Okay. And that's how you repaint a motorcycle. Look for the details. That's why you always do it on a copy of the layer. And speaking of that, here's a complex object that I know we're going to run into trouble with because this orange kind of color here is seen up here and it might be seen in other areas that we don't want to change like the seats of the car. So we're going to have a few issues on this guy too. We don't want to change the color of the engine, but I can see similar colors there. So we're going to have to do some more layer masking. It's Command J on a Mac or Control J to duplicate. Image menu, adjustments, replace the color. I'm going to click right here on this pure kind of orange tone. Then I'm going to take the eyedropper with the plus. I'll drag it across this bar right over here. I'll drag it into these dark values here. Maybe a little fender right there. A little bit of that color down there. Some of the dark values down here. I don't want to hit the blacks because there's a lot of black throughout the rest. I'm really trying to focus on these individual color areas. Again, I don't know if I got everything. So I'm going to drag my hue slider to the left or right. I want to go more to the left, go the deeper color, maybe a hint of purple right there for this car. I like that. And now I see if I missed any other colors here. It looks like I got all the car. I don't see any of those browns, maybe a little bit down there. There we go. Getting all those browns in there. The car has been repainted, but unfortunately, when I click OK, now the people are purple because they add some light tan colors to their skin tones. Some of the leaves have gotten purple. This guy looks like he's purple. He's going to throw up or he's going to pass out. So that's not good. And the chairs, the seats, they all turned purple. I didn't want that. I didn't want a purple engine. I was just trying to repaint the body of the car. So again, I add a layer mask. D for default colors, X to switch to black, and I start to scrape away everything else. Don't change the colors back here. Scrape away the top photo. Don't change the people into weird purple aliens. Scrape all that off. Okay, scrape all that off. There was no color on the top of the car, so I could go right along the edge. That's fine. Scrape all this off. Don't make the people start passing out and getting sick. Scrape all that off. So here's what my top layer is looking like. I don't want any color changes occurring way over here. I don't want any color changes happening up here. I don't want that guy's face turning purple. So I erase everything else except the body of the car okay now these guys look normal again they've got their regular skin tone we don't have purple leaves on the ground we'll come in right next to there we'll go right next to the fender there they're all looking good i don't want purple leaves so i'm going to keep scraping away here right down in there just avoiding the body of the car scrape 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 and we'll get all those purple leaves out of there purple dirt that's just going to look so fake and terrible if i have purple dirt and purple leaves so let me zoom out and this is what my top layer is looking like Okay, there were no color changes happening over here, so I don't really care about that part unless it really stands out. You know, if you're a completist, then you go, nope, I just want to make sure nothing else shows up, so I'm scraping the heck out of everything. You can certainly do that. Might not help as much, but uh, you don't need to if you don't want to sit there wasting your time. Okay. You're really concerned with the areas that stand out to you. So I really just wanted to repaint the car. So I'm going to keep going around here. 
And then I'm going to zoom in on the windshield. Okay, if I turn off the top layer, these were just signs here. And that was a red bar, reddish brown seats. So I want to bring those back. So I'll just go with a smaller brush for detail. And I'm going to say, okay, keep this bar red. Uh, let's keep this seat kind of that original brown tone, like a leather in there. There we go. And let's take out the color here. We had a little bit of a yellowish tone right in there on that sign. That's fine. There we go. And the engine. I'm going to take this little engine block. And this is chrome right up here, I believe. Nope. Okay, let's take that out. Let's keep that purple because it's kind of the same color as the body of the car. I just want... No, let's take that with the body of the car. No, let's take it out. I want that engine to stand out from the rest of the car. So I'm going to scrape all this engine part out. I don't want a purple engine. I want a purple painted car, not a purple engine to go with it. So I'm just going to keep scraping all these areas on the engine here. Let's get some of these coming out right here. We'll get some of this red coming back into those engine parts. And if you can't see where you're going here, because some of that detail gets a little confusing, just go past it. X for white, and you paint the purple car back on to cover it up. X for black, and you continue erasing right across the engine, all the way across the engine block here. And we'll go right over into here. I want that to be a different color than the car. I'll keep that purple right there because that's chrome and it's reflecting a color. So we'll come across here, scrape out all the purple on that part of the engine. And let's get down into here. Take out all this right here for now. And we'll scrape away the rest. There we go. Good enough for me. I can't tell if that's part of the car or the engine, so I'll just keep it that color. That looks pretty darn good right in there. All right. So now we've got a nice colored engine that stands out from the body of the car. None of the people are passing out. There we go. Beautiful. That's what my top layer is looking like. It just blends back into the rest. So now that I have done a complex color adjustment, a medium complexity color adjustment, and a simple color adjustment, let's save all three to turn them in. So the first one, I go to File, Save a Copy. That'll be last name, first name, um, bathing suit and let's go to my desktop as a JPEG now I can close that I don't need to save it again then I'll come to the motorcycle save a copy last name first name motorcycle on my desktop I'll create a JPEG and I'll save that one as a high quality JPEG. Don't need to save it anymore. And then we got our hot rod here. File menu, save a copy, last name, first name, hot rod. On my desktop as a JPEG and I will save that as a high quality JPEG. So that's how you use color replacements here in Adobe Photoshop. Look forward to seeing what you come up with.